Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best smoothie blenders. Starting at number 5. Hamilton Beach Professional. If you want a quiet blender and want to avoid the pitfalls of cheaper models, consider the Hamilton Beach Professional Quiet Blender. Unlike the Black Plus Decker Quiet Blender with Cyclone Glass Jar, it has great build quality. It also offers a better performance when blending common smoothie ingredients. It uses a plastic dome to muffle noise, and it's marginally quieter than the Black Plus Decker despite its more powerful motor. It makes a smoother blend with ingredients like leafy greens and ice and does a much better job of crushing ice, so it's more suitable for recipes like slushies or blended margaritas. However, it's not ideal for bigger batches since it only has a 32-ounce capacity in its main jar. You can use the noise dome as a serving pitcher but not for blending. This blender also isn't ideal for thicker recipes like smoothie bowls since the ingredients can get pushed to the corners of the jar and you have to remove the noise dome to use the tamper. That said, it will easily handle most smoothie recipes, and it's very easy to clean either in the dishwasher or by hand. Coming at number 4. Black Plus Decker Quiet. If you want to spend as little as possible on a good smoothie blender, consider the Black Plus Decker Quiet Blender with Cyclone Glass Jar. This inexpensive blender is available for well under $100. It shares some of the same flaws as the budget-friendly Oster Pro 1200. For example, some of its components feel flimsy, and it can't handle tough jobs like ice crushing as well as the previous picks. However, it has some of the same features. It comes with a 48-ounce glass main jar and a 24 ounces personal jar, and using either one makes a mostly smooth blend with fibrous fruits and vegetables. It's also easy to clean since the blades are removable from the jar. It's also significantly quieter than the Oster. However, even if you work with a small batch of about 6 ice cubes, it struggles to create uniform crushed ice. While it does an excellent job of processing big batches of fibrous ingredients, the Oster makes a smoother blend in its main jar. That said, adding ice as part of a smoothie recipe isn't an issue, and it can still do a very good job with most kinds of smoothies. At Number 3 Oster Blender Pro. The Oster Pro 1200 is the best budget blender for smoothies we've tested. As you might expect from a cheaper machine, it's not as well built as the other blenders recommended here. Its 48 ounce main jar is also one of the smallest, which might be an issue if you usually blend multiple servings. That said, it comes with a 24 ounce jar and to-go lid, so you don't need to spend extra if you want a personal blending jar that doubles as a travel cup. When it comes to making smoothies, it doesn't quite match the nearly perfectly smooth texture you get with all of the previous picks, but it'll still do a fantastic job with most recipes. It easily crushes ice, but the manufacturer says not to add more than 6 ice cubes at once, while most full-size blenders can handle twice that. You can remove the blade assembly from the main jar, making it easy to clean by hand. However, it only comes with one blade assembly instead of one for each jar, so you need to disassemble and reassemble it when you switch jars. Some parts of the blender feel flimsy and not very sturdy, but you can get it with a 3-year US warranty, depending on where you buy it, which is long for a blender. If you'd like to see more inexpensive blenders, you might find what you're looking for on our list of the best budget blenders. Number 2 of my list. KitchenAid K400 Variable. The KitchenAid K400 is a cheaper option that does a similarly good job with smoothie ingredients like fruit, leafy greens, and ice cubes. It's not as well built as the Vitamix 5200 and has a much shorter, one-year warranty, again, depending on where you buy it. Still, it blends fibrous ingredients like fruit and leafy greens into a smooth puree, whether you're blending small volumes for single serves or using the jar's full 56-ounce capacity for multiple servings. Like the Vitamix, it only comes with its main jar, but KitchenAid sells personal jars for single-serve smoothies separately. Its controls also include a few blending programs, so the blender can stop automatically when it's done. It's more challenging to clean by hand than the Vitamix since it can be difficult to reach under the blades. However, that's most noticeable with sticky ingredients, 
and it's less of an issue if you're mostly making liquidy recipes like smoothies. Similarly, it doesn't include a tamper and isn't easy to use for thicker mixtures like hummus or nut butter. Again, that's fine if you only use your blender for smoothies, but if you care about overall versatility, it's worth keeping in mind. And number 1. Vitamix 5200 Blender. The Vitamix 5200 is the best blender for smoothies we've tested. This sturdy, premium blender might be overkill if you want a blender for simple smoothies, but it's worth considering if you want the smoothest blends. Whether you're making multiple batches or working with a smaller volume of ingredients for a single serve, it does a fantastic job of blending fibrous fruits and veggies in its 64-ounce jar. If you want a smaller jar for single-serve smoothies, you can purchase a personal-sized blending jar separately from Vitamix, although that is an added expense. It's very well-built and has a long 7-year warranty, depending on where you buy it. The controls are simple, consisting of a speed dial and a switch for pulsing. That's all you need for any recipe, but it means you stop the blender manually when it's done, so you may find it less convenient than a blender with automatic blending programs. If you want blending programs, some other full-size models from Vitamix, like the Vitamix A3500, are strong choices. As part of Vitamix's Ascent series, it's a more expensive option, but it's packed with extra features, including five blending programs and a companion app that you can use to access more. The pricier A3500 is much quieter, and its jar is also dishwasher safe, unlike the 5200s. If you want to spend more on additional jars, you can purchase a smaller pitcher or personal jars for single serves. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.